So, something happened a week ago. I went to get in the shower. Well, I got in the shower and um, turned the water on, reached for the soap, no soap. I'd forgotten the soap. Now, this is significant because this is where I get in the shower from. <laughs> well, I get in the shower from this chair. And I've been getting in the shower from this chair for nearly 40 years. So you'd think I'd remember to get the soap because it's not easy to get back out and get the soap. So anyway, cut a long story short. I decided I wasn't getting out. I was going to have a shower without any soap. And I did. And it was really interesting because my hair dried, my body dried and it didn't didn't smell and my hair felt um, thick and clean so and this morning I had a shower again I took the soap just in case I needed it and um, um, I didn't use it I thought I'll try it again because it's been a week since I had a shower and so this is another story getting into how I got into having weekly showers. But um, it, I, now, it'd been a week since I had a shower. So, um, and I only use soap at that shower. And so this morning when I had a shower, I didn't use any soap again. So that's twice no soap. And what I noticed was on my skin, usually when I soap it up and I start, it gets wet and you start rubbing it, dead skin comes off. No dead skin. And I can still feel the, like the natural oils in my skin. I don't use any moisturiser or anything. So, anyway, I do get some itchy bits in the folds of the skin. And so, um, and they haven't been itchy. And... I've been clean so yeah I am um, I'm gonna give it a go so this is the no soap challenge and um, we'll see if I start to rejuvenate my skin and my hair starts to glow <laughs> and all of that let's see what happens um, but yeah I'll give you an update uh, somewhere down the track but as an aside I haven't used soap for I haven't used shampoos and stuff. I've just used soap and I just buy whatever, whatever's available, the best I can afford that's available. So sometimes I'll get the soap from the market, someone who makes soap and in the traditional way. And um, one cake of soap lasts me like ages. And I've been using just a cake of soap for years now on my hair and on my body and that's just that's worked really well i haven't had too many problems um so i can recommend that try and giving that a go and um anyway the reason i got to weekly showers was because well it just mainly because of the effort it took to get in and out and organized and stuff for a shower but the other reason was I like to go away in my little van and my camper van and go out to the bush <laughs> and no showers out there so kind of just got used to it and my body got used to it and it was easier not to have a shower and whilst I was healthy and I didn't smell um yeah anyway so um and you know there was <laughs> oh, I was going to tell a story but nah I'll save that one maybe for another time and in another update but yeah um, just thinking if there's anything else I wanted to say about this challenge um, there was something um, something about I want to see 
I want to see what it does um, to my skin and my hair. And, um, yeah, so I'll give it another week and, um, and try just using the soap next week and I'll give you an update um, and let you know how it goes. So if you want to join me in the challenge or if you only use soap or use products that you find suit you, then, yeah, you let me know. Okay. Take it easy. See you.